Lady sing the blues so well As if she mean it As if it's hell down here in the smoke filled world Where the jokes are cold, they don't laugh at jokes They laugh at tragedies Corner street societies But they believe her, they never leave a while He never works. Declan? This is I can sing this song so blue that you will cry in spite of you. Little wet tears on your bed. With the little wet tears on my baby's shoulder Little wet tears on my baby's shoulder Lady lights a cigarette, puffs away, no regret Takes a look around, no regrets, no regrets Stretches out like branches of a poplar tree Declan? You dork. Didn't you hear me knocking at the door? Still giving me the silent treatment, I see. Well, if you're not gonna talk to me in person, will you talk to me on the phone? I did set up the phone line from your room to mine for a reason. Declan? Are you there? Look, I know you don't like talking much, especially to me, but all you have to do is listen. My teacher's telling us this really interesting story in class, and I thought you might like to hear it. All right, so Chewy, give me a perimeter around two blocks, all right? Look at everything. Garbage cans, everything. This all right? Thanks. Hey! Sorry. Nice. What do we get? Uh, first triple homicide in Richfield in 20 years. Well, who were they? Well, uh, let's see. Emma and Peter Waters. Um, just down the street there. Uh, Eloise Bryant owns the house. What were the Waters doing at Miss Bryant's? Well, Miss Bryant is a widow. Looks like they were having a small dinner party. Miss Bryant was found right at the front door. Single shot. Right to the head. Looks like there was a struggle in the dining room where the waters were killed. No signs of stippling from gunpowder wounds. So, uh, had to be a shot from at least three feet away. So the intruder's a good shot, knows how to handle a gun. Yeah, so the question is, who used the gun? Where did they put it? All right. What a cute little gun. Must you always comment on my choices in life? Well, if you don't like it, maybe you shouldn't have told me about your not-so-secret shooting range. Yeah, well, it's not so secret anymore because everyone and their mother comes down here every once in a while to pop off a few rounds and let off some steam. 
And that's because we live in Richfield, Wisconsin, where every cop couldn't care less about who's shooting or where they're shooting, as long as they don't make it too obvious that they're breaking the law. You know, I must say, you have come a long way from someone who complains that guns are dangerous and only barbarians play with guns for fun. That was last year. Before Declan? Yes. Before that. So, if my gun isn't the problem, what would you suggest, Master? Your problem isn't your gun. Your problem is that you talk too much. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. I'm the one supposed to be teaching you. What can I say? I pick things up quick. All right, so are you going to interview? Who am I going to interview? Well, we're going to get that in a second. Is that nice? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're going to want to see this. All right. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm Detective Robert Barnes with my colleague, Detective Alice Murphy. Are you Mason Gardner? I am. Right. You mind if we come in? Uh, not at all. Excellent. Please. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, have a seat. Thank you. So, Mr. Gardner, do you recognize these two people? This is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Waters. They were just killed in the double homicide. Actually, it was a triple homicide. They were killed along with Eloise Bryant. Did you know any of these people, personally? Uh, uh, no, I didn't. So it was Tully Ram. Excuse me? You killing them, that was, that was just, you know, Tully Robert. Randall. Are you crazy? <laughs> I, I didn't kill anyone. Well, we have a gun, registered in your name, found at the crime scene. That doesn't mean anything. And we have a match. The bullets that killed those people came from your gun. Which gun was it? It was a 45 caliber in 1911. This is just one big misunderstanding. Oh, I get it. That gun went missing from my apartment two oh. days ago. Oh, I well, you realize it's a felony not to report a missing or stolen gun. I just assumed I misplaced it. Of course. It. Mm. Of course. Mr. Gardner, yeah. you're going to have to come with us. Yeah, come on. You know the drill, son. Hands behind your back, just like in a movie. It's not too tight, is it? You have the right to remain silent. You give up your right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you give up... <sighs> you know, I had to guess. Two sugars, right? After seven years of working with you, you'd think I'd remember, but... Hello? Oh, yeah, thanks. What are you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just going over some of the details of the case, make sure we didn't miss anything. <laughs> what, you think Gardner is innocent? No. I mean, we did find only his fingerprints on the gun at the crime scene. Yeah. And we know that his gun fired the bullets that killed the victims. Uh, yeah, so what I, is the I issue? I don't know. I don't know. Call it women's intuition. Something <laughs> is just weird about this oh, whole weird. thing. Weird. We have talked to everybody that was involved with this case. What about the couple's kid? I wasn't there when you talked to her. Oh, what was her name? Uh, Gray. Gray? <laughs> yeah. That was her name. That's no, weird. No, actually, she was very... Very nice kid, very sweet, very polite. Um, she was with friends at the time of the murder. We looked into it, everything checked out. Did they have any other kids? Well, yeah, I remember. They had the son that was killed in the car accident oh, about a yeah. year ago. Right. For some reason, he was sitting in the front seat when he shouldn't have been. Only the parents looked. Look, there is nothing else to be found in this case. Gardner is definitely our guy. I mean, everything we have found points to him. You gotta trust me on this, Alice. There's nothing else to be found. We got it. Can we go now? Because we're late. You know what I'm saying? You can't ever trust clowns, man. Never. Never. Oh, come on. You didn't tell me she was coming. So nice to see you too, Travis. Can you guys pretend not to hate each other for like five minutes? 
Yeah, you know, it's a wonder I can even keep my lunch down at this point. Can I talk to you? Yeah, of course. So I've been thinking... Oh, ho, ho, that's dangerous. Yeah. Travis, do you mind? Come on. Fine. Fine. Sorry about that. It's okay. So anyway, I've been thinking, and some people in this town might not like the idea of you and me together because of the whole age difference thing. And I was wondering if we could just keep this a secret? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't really care what other people think, but if it makes you feel better... It does. ...then my lips are sealed. Good. Oh, I almost forgot. Mm -hmm. There's this new gun store down the street, and uh, I thought you might want to check it out. Oh, sure. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Here, let me help. Mm. There. All better. So, Thanks. Mm. I'll see you later. Alright, see ya. Is it safe to come out? Is it gone? Yes, Travis, I'm leaving now. I know you'll miss me terribly. <laughs> hey. Go to hell. See? I told you you'd like the story. It's been all over the news for weeks, and we've been talking about it in school a lot. Yeah, the cops officially announced that Mason Carter would be charged with the murders of M.M. Peter Waters and Aloise Bryant. Apparently they found traces of his blood at the scene. It's kind of funny how small the world is after all. Well, got a lot of homework to do tonight. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Goodbye, Declan. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. Lady lights a cigarette Puffs away And winter comes And she Forget it